you please remain standing for the prayer and the hymn to follow? Uh, please pray with me. Heavenly Father, thank you for such a place as Lindsay Wilson College in Columbia, Kentucky. Uh, we pray that as we have gathered here today with members of the community, uh, that you will con uh, continue to bond us together to help us as we further the mission of the college and to enrich the lives of those of us that live here. We ask your blessing on this service in Jesus' name. Scripture says that God's mercies are new every morning. Would you sing, Great is Thy Faithfulness, printed in your program today. We welcome you this morning to our annual Church College Celebration Day, a day in which we recognize both the historic connection and the present reality of Lindsay Wilson College's relationship to the United Methodist Church, to the church in general. We are pleased to have everyone here. We want to give special recognition to our clergy, church workers, youth directors, worship leaders, and pastors who are in attendance. First, we have many of our United Methodist clergy and pastors present. Many of them will later be attending a continuing education event at lunch and in the afternoon. Will you please stand if you are a United Methodist clergy person or pastor? We 
We also have several on our faculty and staff who are clergy, pastors, worship leaders, youth directors of churches in various denominations. So at this time, we ask that all these persons stand to be recognized. And we want to thank, thank all of you for your attendance here today. This morning's Old Testament reading is from the 103rd Psalm, verses 1 through 5 and 15 through 18. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not his benefits. Who forgiveth all thine iniquities, who healeth all thy diseases, who redeemeth thy life from destruction, who crowneth thee with loving kindness and tender mercies, who satisfieth thy mouth with good things, so thy youth is renewed like the eagles. As for man, his days are like grass, as a flower of the field, so he flourishes. For the wind passes over, and it is gone, and the place thereof shall not know it any more. But the mercy of the Lord is from everlasting to everlasting upon them that fear him, and righteousness upon children's righteousness, to such as keep his commandments, and to those who remember his covenant and follows them. Thus ends the reading. And I'll be reading from John chapter 1, verses 1 through 5 and 14. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. Through him all things were made. Without him nothing was made that has been made. In him was life, and that life was the light of men. The light shines in the darkness, but the darkness has not understood it. The Word became flesh and made his dwelling among us. We have seen his glory, the glory of the one and only, who came from the Father, full of grace and truth. 